yeah it's empty um we did look how pretty nice look like the small hey y'all what's up hey y'all what's up hey y'all what's up welcome back good morning it is a monday it's the fourth of july for some of you all for me it's another day we celebrate juneteenth over here but um i am i just cleaned up my refrigerator so um yeah it's empty literally empty we have a bunch of like fruits and stuff or a few stuff for things from the garden here's like containers um we still have like carrots and celery and stuff uh yeah we have the lunch meat but the kids have been going to camp every day cooking breakfast every day and i'm back to being intentional with what i'm cooking and what i'm buying and because of that by the time monday rolls around Food is gone. We still have like some butter and some um, sour cream. I just had to wipe out the fridge. And then like a pineapple. Uh, I made some, this is purple cabbage and purple onions, which is so freaking good. Um, so we still have some stuff and I gotta go outside and get some stuff out the garden um, today too. But um, today is gonna be a grocery day. Um, I have a list. Let me pull it up. All right. So I don't know if it's my eyes. All right. Yeah. I think I don't know if it was me being blurry or the camera. All right. So I have my calendar. I didn't do for the entire month. I'm going to try to go for two weeks um, with groceries and then a few like additional items because I only wrote down dinners, but I have to take an account that they pack a lunch every day. They eat breakfast every day. So the normal things we would need like the almond milk, the eggs and stuff bread chips um yeah the stuff that we kind of need anyway um jelly penny's been doing all these like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches but she's been doing like the pear jelly or the cherry jelly you know whatever my charcuterie board jellies <laughs> um what else like crackers it's like i think they asked for granola bars i guess things like that like when it comes to lunch i'm just got to get like period okay but so today being the fourth today was supposed to be baked potato with um chicken salad like salad with chicken strips on top but since it's just me and the girls and christopher won't be here later um they probably won't even want the chicken but if we get the chicken tenders that's fine that means i need to go to costco um <clears throat> so i'll try to do both today costco and aldi um I'm going to look on the ad for Whole's Food, too, because there's some things I might want to get from there. I'm not so sure, but I think what I'm going to end up doing, honestly, today is just Aldi and H-E-B, and then um, possibly tomorrow, Costco or later on. <clears throat> it's so hot, y'all. Um, so, we have uh, the next day, which is Tuesday, will be Taco Tuesday, so I'm not sure what we're going to have if we're going to do soft tacos or if we're going to do burritos. But either one, I just put tor the tortillas and um, black beans and uh, turkey meat for them. Um, let's see. Veggie lasagna on Wednesday. But then there will be food left over, right? No, it probably won't. If they do tacos, there's never food left over on top of a taco day. <laughs> there's never leftovers. So we'll do uh, for Wednesday, which is normally our whatever Wednesday, we'll do a veggie lasagna. And I'll make a small one. And then Thursday, I put uh, breakfast for dinner. So, um, yeah, that's cool. Because see, Tara normally eat the leftovers from the day before for lunch. And sometimes Christopher takes leftovers in his thermos from the day before. So if there is a leftover from the veggie lasagna, I would have lunch the next day. Tara would have lunch. And Christopher probably may or may not. Oh, you know, he wouldn't because Thursday is actually, they're doing something Thursday. All right, so then Thursday is breakfast for dinner, whatever that looks like. I have to buy all breakfast food anyway, between oatmeal, grits, cream of wheat. We don't have any of that. Um, like I said, I've been really intentional about cooking everything that's in the pantry and the refrigerator. So, yeah. Um Friday is baked spaghetti, which will carry us through the weekend. I don't cook on Saturdays unless it's just something simple, you know, something simple. So that will carry us through. And then Sunday, that next week, is homemade pizzas. So I need to make sure I have everything for that. 
Um, Monday we'll be doing, we'll probably do a fish. I put fried fish, lemon pepper rice, and salad. So we'll see. Uh, Tuesday is Taco Tuesday again. So uh, we'll probably do like a taco bake, a casserole bake. Um, it's almost like a Mexican lasagna where you layer everything with like the tortillas, the cheese, um, your meats and whatever. So we're going to do that. And then another soup and salad day on Wednesday because it's whatever Wednesday. And so if there's something left over from tacos Tuesday, they would have that with like the tortilla soup and salad the next day. That Thursday after that, I just put waffles and then Friday, um, piece of casserole. So... I'm going to take this with me and my uh, grocery list. Y'all just drank so much juice this morning. <laughs> and it was strong. It was actually my ginger shot juice, but it was enough to make like mm, a small cup. So I did that plus water and <laughs> all this is just burning. <laughs> so it's ginger, it's uh, basil and pineapple, but it's more ginger, like big, huge chunks of it. All right, so before I go, I'm going to share with you all my new ice maker that I got. I know a lot of you all asked about the ice maker and um, that I've had and how expensive it was. So I have another one I want to share with you all. And hopefully this fits inside your budget. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that footage here. This portion of the video is sponsored by RW Plane. So um, I, they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a countertop ice maker. Um, they told me that the ice maker was um, self-cleaning, which is a plus, and that um, it would make, of course, those little nugget ice that I absolutely love. And then the machine itself, um, not only could sell on the countertop, but it would make 44 pounds of ice within 24 hours. And I was like, okay, let me see. Because y'all know I like to make ice. Like, I normally make it once a week, and I fill up two containers of ice in my freezer. So let me show you what I've done so far. All right, so we go through ice here because either we're outside or they're throwing them in smoothies, we're making juice, we put in our water. We're just an ice family here. It is what it is. So um, this was full. I have another tray just like this that was full. And now I'm making more ice. I don't know about the 44 pounds because I haven't done a 24 hour thing, but I can tell you what, um, it doesn't take long for this thing to fill up. Once it gets going, it starts, uh, filling up with ice so and every time it fills up we just dump it in the ice tray so let me turn my on probably hear it going in the background when i opened it up i took it out and um i went ahead and put it on the shelf i cleaned it out real good took off all the plate the plastic and i ran it the first time i just put water in and i ran it and uh, when it was empty, as we've dumped the ice a couple of times, because once you fill it up to the fill line, I want to say it takes twice, <laughs> two times to dump the ice before you have to put more like water in. I, I never really stopped to really pay attention, but I do know that the ice maker, um, like when the, it was full, the basket, the water still wasn't gone. I should say it like that. So I went ahead and put it on the countertop. Like I said, the first time we poured water in it and we let it run. Let it run, and then once that was empty, we threw all the ice down the sink, and we went ahead and um, and did it again with like the filtered water to make the ice, and that's why we have two trays of ice now. Girl, that ice is not last long. <laughs> I was like, who keep eating up all the ice? What do y'all do with the ice? But they outside a lot. I mean, they just like ice drinks, and like I do. Then we make a lot of tea, so we pour that over ice. Y'all know how it goes over here. Um, it does come with a uh, booklet. It does have a timer on it. Um, this would be perfect for office, for home, if you're into like a bunch of like ice drinks, slush drinks, smoothies, anything we have to put a lot of ice or you just prefer the smaller ice, you know, like the big cubes like me. I never like the big cubes. I always like the smaller ice. It's really easy to, you just put it up on your countertop, you plug it in and it has like the start button right here on the front of the machine. And the timer as well. There is a, a way that you can press a couple of buttons. I believe it's the same time to start the self cleaning, but you're gonna to want to self clean it every once in a while because you know if you have water like we have here, even though it's filtered water, I mean it still can be hard water. And you still want to keep your ice clean because you want to have clean ice. You don't want slime in an ice machine, friend. Okay. So with the ice machine, um, it'll flash like um, if you need water, it'll flash like this F if it's full with like an ice bucket symbol so you'll know to take the ice out but uh, let me show you the inside and how it's working right 
So in here it has like this thing that spins. I don't know if you can see that. And as it spins, it drops the ice. It comes with an ice scooper. So for those of you who will like, you know, use a scooper, it just it comes with a scooper. And you just scoop the ice like this. And look at that ice scoop. Look at that ice. Look at that ice. Yeah. We just put it in our freezer. We just make a lot of it at one time. Throw it in the freezer. It's good for parties. My friends always ask me, like when I go to the house for get togethers if I can make ice for the party. Because they'll normally buy ice for like coolers and whatever and then I'll make a ton of ice, put them in bags, like those big gallon zip up bags um, for drinks. So I did that the other day. Uh, with this machine, because I wanted to see like how much ice, but I can't weigh it. Like I don't have a way to weigh it. I just know I was able to take, I think I took four gallons of the Ziploc bags of ice. I was like, oh yeah. So I'm happy about it. I don't have any complaints. I think it's a really good uh, machine. I think the basket is a decent size too. I think when we see these baskets, we don't realize how much this holds. I'm not sure how long it takes to actually fill up the entire basket, but I can say this, like when it comes to the basket, um, I just poured the water in there, like in the morning, like I did this morning, right? I'm going to see how long today is, so when we come back from shopping, I can kind of tell you a little bit, if I can remember to tell the girls to empty it while I'm gone, but um, I can say this, so I put the water in um, to the maximum line, let the ice fill up, dump it, you don't have to put water the second time, because there's still water in there, dump it, when the ice is full, right, fill it up with water again. So I don't know exactly how much water, but if it's on the website, I'll put all the information right here. But I'm, I like it. I like it. It's less expensive than the other one. Okay. I know y'all yeah, been on me. So I'm trying to be, you know, more cognizant. But um, yeah. And it ships so freaking quickly. Like they literally told me, oh, we're going to ship it out. And then two days later, I was like, what is this box? <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's on the countertop right now. Actually, I'm going to move my, um, my beverage cooler back in this corner where it was i moved it when we were painting the walls if you kind of remember and i was trying to get all the bookshelf down here figure out things but now i could put it back where it was and i'm gonna put the ice maker there so it's easy access and the kids can get to it fill it up do whatever they need to do in regards to making ice and then the countertops will be back free so i'm hoping that um before the end of july we can clean up the kitchen and do some kitchen like organization together. I do have a video coming out with kitchen uh, favorites. You might enjoy that. That was fun to make. Girl, I was like, oh, I love everything. But um, yeah, so um, the countertops are going to like be revamped and re stuff moved around. Things are going to be changed. Colors will stay the same. I'm just more interested in more wood pieces, more... Um, almost like handmade i can't really describe what i'm thinking right now and then of course the black and white so you'll see more of that and hopefully we'll be able to decorate these shelves together bring more greenery in cut more cuttings for my plants because i have some cuttings i'm thinking about cutting today i'm just looking for like a vessel to put it in i have this one right here this big large vessel which you can't see because the light is so bright uh, but i'm thinking about putting a cutting there to see if we can grow another monstera like we're growing right there so we'll see the lighting is kind of off in here because the bulbs went out yesterday so that's another thing i need to get i probably won't do it today though because yeah i don't know i changed this before and girl i'm just it's those long lights and you can just barely move it and crack it so i think i'm gonna have somebody do it for me this time we'll see but i'm gonna go ahead and make me a drink so i can get out of here because i've already had my ginger shot I've already had my coffee, um, about to make me some water, and then when we get back, we gonna, hopefully before the end of the day, I can kind of give you an estimate of like, so you can see how much ice, and I'm going to have to put in Ziplocs because we don't, we won't even have enough room in that top tray if I make all this ice today. I'm just going to take the ice out of here. It's so hot outside, y'all. So that's what the ice looks like. The small cubes or small nuggets, if you want to call it that. Let's get some lemon. So I have, um, I had some like cucumelons growing. So I'm gonna see which one is the better one. And um, oh, it smells so good. It's like lemon cucumbers, just so you know. I'm making a mess, talking y'all. But like I was saying. 
it feels so good to be like 15 degrees less than what it was <laughs> all week last week y'all won't believe this y'all won't believe this i left my list at home i left my list at home <sighs> i'm so annoyed with myself kind of need this trash can <clears throat> these chairs on clearance for 17. What is this? That's oh, like a fire pit chimney. That's cute. Okay. Um, for 99. Okay. All right. Let's get some food. All right. These are too cute. They're on clearance. Um, I really want that cutting board. I don't need it. I just want it. And I love these. They're on clearance for $5.99. Look how pretty. I could put rosemary in my olive oil. I'm thinking about it. These are pretty. They're a necessity and they have a lot of them. Somebody opened this, by the way. It was not me. Um, but I might. Strawberry lemonade. Yeah, that's the one I had in the smaller one. Beach bungalow. Oh wow, that's my good too. I like this one. Have a lot of Fourth of July stuff that nobody bought. I like that little sign. Home sweet home. You got some mini gnomes. Macaroon candle collection is now $5.99. But they're so little, right? Aren't they tiny or something? Yeah, they're little, but they're so cute. They'd be cute around like the tub area. Tulum, Mexico. Been there. Like I told y'all, these didn't smell for me. Well, the ones prior, I don't know about this particular one, but the one prior did not smell, but I love these. Uh, raspberry and rose. That's all they have left. Oh, God, they're so terrible. Probably want one of these in her room. These smell so freaking good. All right. Um, What else we got here? Bubbles. Look how big that thing of bubbles is. Um, I still like these. The terracotta pots. I think they're really cute. Because once the candle burns, you can use the pot, right? Yeah, I like that. Uh, oh, girl, the air is blowing. Y'all should see my hair all over my face. I want to think I'll mark these down a little bit more. If they do, I'm going to grab those. Um, what is this? <laughs> a catch all? Um, hmm. I need a water hose, but not that one. Four-way basket hanger. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, the LED lights are only $3.99. That's a really good price. Because these lights now are like five and six bucks. Like crazy. That's a good price. Um, love these. They're just too small for me. But they're so freaking cute. The planners. This is a three-tier wedding wooden planter box like the standing planter box really cool um girl what is this is this heavy because my shoulders hurt child this feel light as a feather oh this feels like nothing's in there i don't know about that these are 54 planter boxes now this heavy yeah, see, this is a little bit heavier. But this thing up here, that's a no. Um, this is cute. Tall golden, tall garden <laughs> statue. 
This color is so pretty. Hmm. I'm just like walking up and down each aisle because I literally do not have a list. And I kind of know what I need to buy, but my mind is just like freaking out, trying not to uh, forget. Oh, wow. I bet these lights are bright. Look how big this solar panel is. How much are these? I don't have any where to hang it though. Window units, 149. That just seemed like, I don't know. It like seemed like a lot of work, but uh, I see people with them. They must work. You know, we don't have no rice. All right, so these were four forty-nine. Now it's two ninety-nine. I guess it's one chair for that much. Hmm. If it goes down to like two, I might just buy one. But uh, yeah, four forty-nine would have never saw me ever. y'all so i'm back from the um grocery store i am um about to go through everything i purchased i'm gonna start putting stuff away the stuff that i chop and prep for the refrigerator i might film some of that um excuse the noise in the background penny's going through the containers in the um cabinet um i don't know something somehow they just always switch away whatever so she's fixing that we have containers already out that we need to refill for the fridge so let's just get started on everything I got. Um, the total was 161 and like 05, I think. Where's my receipt? It's in my pocket. So I found my last. I was so annoyed that I didn't have it. Um, so once I go through all this, I'll kind of figure out what I'm missing. Because I did write down a bunch of stuff. And I think I got pretty much everything. We didn't really they didn't really have any good lettuce that they like. So um it was pretty white. <laughs> No green on it, which was really weird. So I'm back to doing like the cash envelope thing where I'm trying to spend a hundred, more than $100 a week and then I'm gonna get it down to like 75 to like 60 a week. So I just took 160 with me in cash. Luckily I had a few dollars in my purse, like my emergency 20 some dollars I keep where, cause my total was, um, oh, it was actually 151. So, okay, I had $10 left, so I had 151. And that was for everything that I'm about to show you. All right, so I didn't get the candle I, I wanted. I put that back and I ended up getting something else instead. Oh, just popped myself. <laughs> I'll show you. All right, so I did get some bread. I want to do avocado toast this week and possibly something else. So like some vegan protein, vegan protein um, French toast. So I picked up this bread right here. It is a protein bread. The net carbs on it is four grams, so it's not too bad. A lot of seeds on it and everything look pretty good. I got them two loaves of the, of the artesian bread that they eat. Cause like I said, they've been going through a lot of sandwiches between breakfast sandwiches and lunch. I did pick up a thing of bagels cause they went in like three days last time I bought them. Two containers of the waffles. I got one bunch of celery because I already have one in the refrigerator. And I, I don't know if I'm juicing today or tomorrow. It depends on how I feel. But I'm just getting stuff for juices too. Some mushrooms. I'm supposed to go in that Mexican pizza. We got two packs of the baby spinach and arugula. I have arugula growing outside. I'm going to chop up two to add to all this. I got two bags of the puffs. These are just easier to toss in the air fryer for breakfast um, hash browns instead of those actual little hash browns. They just get like a handful, put in a container or whatever. Um, I did get ground turkey for the tacos, ground chicken for like the taco casserole, right? Then I got um, pink salmon, which will go on either a salad today or something. I'm not sure. I pick these up because every once in a while I get these. I know they're not great for you, but um, I like to put them with the avocado and the um, <laughs> California rolls I make. Okay. More whipped cream. We have some, but not enough for the bagels. And I got two packs of cheese, Kobe cheese, and then um, for. Um, Provolone cheese. I was going to say Provolone. Provolone cheese. 
they had this meat half off it um, it says sell by i think the 13th so it being the fourth i figured that would be good for them um some shredded cheese for whatever reason i couldn't think of what we needed it for but i'm sure it was for like the um tacos for taco tuesday tomorrow and then possibly for um, it's something else this this week with, with cheese and then i need to get another pack for the um taco casserole next week so there's a few things that i'm missing and hopefully it's under like 20 bucks it won't break the bank a bunch of bananas um some ginger i wish they had more he said they didn't have any come in this week so i'll probably go back and get some next week that's fine this will last us for ginger shots for this week hold on all right sorry um, i didn't want to start whistling loud all right so some more um cage free eggs oh by the way i put my light up for my um for my plant i had to turn it off so y'all can actually see um this one you can see they're starting to sprout um in here i don't know i, don't know. I saw someone another one but i planted some stuff in there so y'all see that video soon all right so then i got some parsley on accident we have parsley i thought i was grabbing a bunch of cilantro but i got some parsley which is fine um we have some outside but it's not a lot because it's so hot it's starting to go to seed so i can definitely use this in something cilantro which means I only got two packs instead of four, and I can eat a pack by myself. But um, yeah, some extra tomatoes to go with the tomatoes we have, because we still have a bunch in the window from the other day, but they're gonna take a while to turn. So I was like, okay, I just been picking them every day. So we have some, but not enough to make like a really nice, good pico. So pick those up. Red onions, of course, yellow for cooking, red for raw eating. Um, Sugar snacks. I wanted some of these. So I got these. I think Tara and I are the only ones to eat those. Some more avocados. Um, the pricing was a little bit better. <laughs> Y'all, it's been, it's been crazy. Okay, poblano peppers. I'm thinking about stuffing them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I love poblano peppers. Um, whole carrots. I have a bag. I'm going to wash that with this bag and chop them up and get them ready for prep for juice. And I'll probably do it tomorrow. I got a bag of grapes. I don't even know what they taste like. I, you know, because I ain't taste them in the store. Um, three packs of strawberries because they was $1.49 a pack. And they look pretty good. All this has to be washed today and put in the fridge. Yeah, that looks good. And then the grapes were so tiny, but they were 70 something cent. So three of these, the pineapples. I was trying to get them as yellow as I could so I could start juicing them. One of them might have to wait, but these might can be sliced and at least put in a jar until I juice them. I have uh, two of the almond milks. They like the one with vanilla, so I got those. All right, so I'm going to take a quick break and start putting some of this away until we get to, so we can get to the dry food. So let me show you what we got on this side. So I only picked up one vegetable stock. I stopped, I stopped buying these because um, I've been using... Let me see if I can find it. I've been using... Um, this one, the vegetable base, the vegetable base cubes, and then the other one, which we've used it all. And that's that one that come in a glass jar at the top. I don't know if we got it from Trader Joe's or maybe we got it from Costco, but it was really good. So I'm going to try to buy another one of those. So I kind of stopped buying the vegetable broth and start using, um, that because it goes a long way and it ended up being cheaper, you know, when you add it up. All right. So corn tortillas, let me do the tacos tomorrow and... There should be something left to do the uh, casserole. The um, Is it like a Mexican casserole? I don't know how to really call it. Uh, some more of these pickles. Um, Christopher likes these. I picked up some of the Crystal hot sauce. One of these ranch dressings until I can get the one that they want. Plus the um, Olive Garden one. Um, some more black beans. Some frijoles. Nickels. I got some pumpkin pie mix. I can make two loaves of bread today. Some granola that they like to top on their oats. I'm just gonna make some, but this bag is a dollar forty-five. I was like, by the time I buy the note, by the time I buy the nuts, some more oats, I could just get the bag for a dollar forty-five. <laughs> so that's what I did. And we don't have any honey, so I would have spent a lot of money on making it. So I just bought it. I did get the no stir creamy peanut butter. Um, she left all this out. Sorry, y'all. I got some more pretzels to go in the pretzel container. Um, the oats, like I said, some of these iced oatmeal to go into that container too. Um, 
these. I should have got two of these, the round boxes, but I only got one. One bag of the tortilla chips. Two containers of grits. I should have bought four, but right now I'm buying the food that we're going to eat. And then um, hopefully next week I have a budget set aside for back stockpile. I'm trying to do like 60, 65 to 70 a month, just additional stuff to put on the shelves for like, you know, anything or whatever. Not really, um, yeah, just back stock. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I got some rice because we didn't have any. I bought this flour, and if you know me, I don't buy this flour. I normally buy like, <laughs> like the organic flours, the bread flours, but I just picked it up because I don't feel like going to no store. And I know I was making bread today. Croutons. This is the Italian and it's the garlic cheese. So that's going in a container. Um, they dipped bars for their lunches this week for camp and then these. So that's pretty much everything. I did get um, a kombucha, of course. Y'all know every time I go, I get a kombucha. This one's really good. This is the Berry Nirvana. And it is so freaking good. I did get some of these so we can throw the other one away and replace them. I think three come in a pack. Oh, it's a two pack of the my pads, so that's fine. And something else, uh, olives, black olives. Um, yeah, just go ahead and put them in this container. And um, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, y'all. So everything is done. Get a little screenshot right there. Um, of my fridge. I didn't have to replace any of the stuff on the side, my sauces and their um, salad dressings. I'll try to post a, something a real or something on Instagram about this. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you are. I've already bathed y'all. So, yeah, just so y'all know. I'm in my pajamas. Um, let's see what we got going on over here. So, I went ahead and the bread's up here. This is just like the mushrooms, some cheese and olives for like some salads uh, this week. Um, eggs and everything, pickles in a jar, um, because we like to add garlic and um, dill sometimes into these pickles. Girl, my kids, they, yeah, that's my kids. Uh, so then we do have the meat and cheese already ready to go for their lunches this week. Um, the parsley and the cilantro is chopped and ready to go. The carrots are chopped. This is just some of their um, creams to go with their bagels or whatever. And then I refilled this jar today, too, of the chia seeds because I didn't have any more. But I had a bag in the pantry. And so we got chia, hemp, and flax back there. Um, the lettuce is here. And I'm not using the full capacity of my refrigerator. If you notice, I could literally push, like, all this back. Like, and it, it's enough to put, like, more containers behind it. It's just that we don't really stuff our fridge like that. But we have the celery chopped and ready to go for juice tomorrow. Um, lettuce, <laughs> half of it's probably good because I ate a salad, Tara ate one. Penny's going to have one for dinner with her salmon. Um, and then we have our snap peas ready to go. Carrots are already ready to go for juicing. And, um, Tara washed all the grapes, so they're in here and they're ready to go too. And then, of course, it, of course it'll start beeping. All the pineapple so I only cut two pineapple because one I just feel like I don't know if y'all really ready you know and I don't really like having pineapple that's not like ready to juice because it's, it's not as um, flavorful it's not as sweet so yeah um, well all right so down here we have um, like some okra we picked from the garden yesterday um, I need to go pick some more today probably uh, one random cucumber squash and we had one eggplant left after we fried all that eggplant the other day um, Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen all those videos Some sweet peppers pepper from the garden. This one's supposed to turn red has some random dinosaur kill from the garden I'm gonna go pick more of that tomorrow. It was just too hot today y'all to be honest All right, so I had to switch sides. So ginger's in here but when we juice ginger, uh, we don't really juice like a thumb of ginger unless it's like for a glass or whatever. We actually juice like whole ginger. Um, yeah. So pavano peppers in here plus all the other peppers that I picked in the last couple of days. Look how beautiful this pepper is. And then these are like the tomatoes from the garden down up in there. Avocados. Some more avocados here. I don't know if I can, if I can hold the camera right. 
size, so it feels weird. <laughs> so some more avocados. And then down here, I didn't get mango, and I probably should have, because I know Christopher likes the mango, but um, I'll put these in the window. He'll probably eat these in the next two days, and then I'll go get some more mango from somewhere if I can find them on sale. I did, um, Tara did, no, was that? Yeah, Tara washed the uh, strawberries and, like, the vinegar with a little bit of salt. So those are clean and ready to go. We don't have much peaches left because this whole thing was full, but they ate them all from the peach tree that was outside. That is outside, I should say. These are lemons and lime. Um, I already didn't have any lemons, so when I go back, I'm going to try to get some lemons. And then, of course, my green onions. I know I keep them in the fridge because I like them cold on my salads. Um, and then, of course, the milk's on here, ready to go. And that's all we got left of our ginger. I'm probably about to drink that tonight. Actually, let me drink the rest of my kombucha. All right, so the ice maker is over here now. Well, I told you I was going to put it over here by this shelf um, and move my fridge back over here. I don't know if you can tell. It's a lot of room back there, but you really can't tell right here. But don't forget, I will have everything linked down below. So if you're interested, you can definitely check them out. I am um, grateful that they sponsored this video and sent this uh, ice maker over to us. We really are enjoying it. And it's not loud. Like, you can hear it, but it's not airplane loud. <laughs> like my old one. So, yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's just perfect right here on the mini fridge. So, yep. So, so far, we have that tray and this tray. This one's, like, halfway done, though. Because they, you know, they, I'm telling you, like, they devour the ice. But, um... Yeah, I love these little cubes like these. All right, so the bananas are over here. I didn't make the pico yet, so I'll probably do that probably tomorrow. I'm tired now. I did make the muffins like I said I would. Um, and these are the spicy pumpkin spice, like banana, no, pumpkin spice muffins. I keep wanting to say banana. So I did those, and then I also went ahead and made a loaf two so that we have both and um yeah that's pretty much it for the day i'm about to have some tea all right so um, i met someone on instagram and she sent me out some tea from her tea company really nice beautiful and it smells so freaking good i'll link her down below if you're interested in trying a new tea but it's supposed to be like a beauty tea it is so good, y'all. It's like, um, look at everything's running. I took a shower, a bath. I took a bath, and girl, I'm tired now. But, um, yeah, I'll make sure to link her down below because, um, her tea is so good. It's so pretty, too. All the different, um, dried fruits or whatever and the tea leaves. I love it. Um, so, I'm sure you'll see updates on the channel of the ice maker because it ain't going nowhere and the fridge is done it'll stay like this until probably friday but i went through my list so i have about maybe 12 dollars worth of stuff i need to purchase that i did not get but it's all good so that's not bad at all i think um pretty much like 160 for two weeks i don't think that's bad i can't really think of anything else i would stop for i mean they can just heat up those muffins in the morning real quick or make egg sandwiches so and then make lunch. Yeah. I didn't buy chips. I didn't buy chips. I wonder what I had to Oh, because I said I was going to buy the box chips. So um, we'll see. I'm trying not to really count their lunch as much because um, they take stuff, but not really a lot. So that's good. Uh, they'd be so busy. They, I don't think they really have time to stop and just eat. So um, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Because it's one thing to go grocery shopping, but to come home and prep everything, chop everything, put everything away, clean out a refrigerator, it wears me out. But I will see y'all on the next video. I don't even know. It'll be my um, Amazon favorites and my kitchen favorites. Peace.